Elmas, do you agree that he improved his movement? No, he's improved his movement and he's willing to go forwards. Uh, he looks comfortable at the net as well. And, I mean, obviously, I'm a, I'm a big fan of if, if Yannick Sinner is going to win multiple majors, which I think he is, this is the match, this is the score that, that this needs to be. Alex Duminar doesn't really have a weapon to hurt Yannick Sinner, but you got to put the work in, you got to put him away in three sets, and he did exactly that. Um, so I think Yannick Sinner, he's taken a big step in the right direction. And I love what he said. I'm 20, and I can only improve and grow from that point. And, um, I mean, I keep thinking about Emma Raducanu, same situation. You just, you just have to grow and improve, and Yannick Sinner seems to have that long-term goal. Now, Babsi, I don't know if you uh, followed the whole story of John McEnroe. We asked him if he wanted to coach Yannick Sinner, so maybe there's a story out there. What could John add to Yannick's game to improve? Well, of course, coming to the net uh, a little bit more, I guess. But you know what? I think Yannick Sina is so happy with Ricardo Piatti. I don't think he's going to get rid of him anytime soon. Uh, they have a great relationship. He seems like a father to him as well. So it's going to be tough for John McEnroe to take over here. But yes, of course, I mean, coming to the net a little bit more, I mean, even more complete uh, his game style would be then, if he could do that in the future. Mm. Now, Alex de Minor has been saying how 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 he practiced so hard during the preseason how good he was feeling with this upcoming tournament how was he looking today was he, did he, did he just not have the weapons to yeah, bother him i think that's exactly right i, th I think D De Minor with his game is doing everything he can he's not one of these guys that's sort of 1 meter 90 and's got a massive um, a massive serve but when you you know, you look at how Di Minore is maximizing his potential. I think he's working incredibly hard. He's so fast on the court. He's so consistent from, you know, the back of the court. You know, if you're going to coach him, how else are you going to improve mm. his game? I yeah. don't think you can suddenly say, oh, look, you need to start serving and volleying. So I think Di Minore is doing everything he can. I think he came up against a better player today. Mm. Do you agree that he maximized his potential? Yes? I think he's pretty much maximized his potential, yeah. And I think that he's going to most probably make a semis of a Grand Slam at some point because he's going to try so hard. He's going to get a decent draw. Uh, but back to the Makarov thing, I mean, I, I just go back to when, when Ivan Lendl worked for Sasha Zverev, and I thought that that's a little bit too early. Sasha Zverev was winning, and he's still growing in one direction. And in comes Ivan Lendl, one of the best coaches of all time. And, of course, when you spend a lot of time with a person, you get affected by them. So I think a John McEnroe and Yannick Sinner, I think it's a brilliant idea, but very, very few moments here and there because you don't want to stop the growth direction of someone like Yannick Sinner. He might turn out to go that direction, but with John, too much influence from John McEnroe, he might deviate and think. So I think a little bit of a conversation. What do you do now? I'm in the yeah. semifinals. P Riccardo Piatti. I don't know. I've never been in the semifinals. Ask John. Yeah, and I, I think with Sinner, though, you know, his game is, is trending in the right direction. Absolutely. I mean, he's had such good results. For me, another element is his personality on the court. Because before, you know, he's so young, but he was almost a little bit, um, you know, uh, restricted. He didn't really, you know, show his emotion. But you saw him when, you know, he won that match. He's so pumped up. When you saw him play as an alternate in Turin at the end of last year, you know, he was really expressing himself. And I think he's showing, you know, he's becoming more and more comfortable on the big stage. But he's only um, showing the, the right emotions, right? Really positive ones. Babsi, did you did you notice that as well? The the change in the, the way yes. he is on the court now emotionally. Absolutely, and you guys know that I love emotions out there on the court. And with Yannick Sinner, it's really only the positive emotions. He he stays pretty calm, as cool as a cucumber during the match most of the time, except when he played uh, against Tiafo, I remember last year in Vienna, which was a, a, a tough loss there. But uh, mainly, no, he's he's uh, really positive, and he reinforces himself in a positive way, which is really great to see. And I think he's so mature. He's only 20. He hasn't been on the tour for a very long time, so that's a big strength if you are at that point you know when you're 20 years old I think you can it's, there's so much upside mm -hmm. now Matthew you were saying he's gonna be a Grand Slam winner to you yep. would he be ready now already 
Putting in performances like that, yeah, I, th I think he can really hurt the players. I think I think if you're going to win, certainly uh, when you look at the other players, you, you've got to go out and earn it. You've got to yeah. beat these other players. The other players are not just going to lose. And so when I see Sinner now, I think he's serving a little bit better, uh, bigger and better from the back of the court on both sides. He really has that firepower. His movement, I think, because he's maturing, he's getting stronger and stronger. So he's like dictating play. He's playing tennis on, on his terms. Mm. Can he go on and win uh, this Grand Slam? I, I think it's still a fraction early, but um, winning in straight sets, he's not doing his, uh, his chances any harm at all. It's inspiring for all you guys out there that want to do something and want to be the best that you can be. Just never give up because you never know what can happen. You never know who you can inspire and um, who you can influence.